Here's the season to be soundly put on. God, I hate Christmas. That's the spirit. Well, who wouldn't? People are like animals, pushing, grabbing, jostling. I can't stand it. I'm just glad my shopping is over. If I never had to buy another Christmas present, huh, I'd be the happiest woman alive. God, I love Christmas. Oh, good. The other side is heard from. I mean, you know, all the bustling and the hurry and everything. Everyone's so excited and all. I'm just sorry my shopping's all over with. I could shop for Christmas presents the rest of my life. Funny, Connie was just expressing a similar sentiment. What was it, Connie? Well, speaking of presents, I hope you two like yours. Oh, well, thank you. You bought us gifts? Oh, if you didn't buy me one, don't worry about it. I don't buy to receive. I buy just because I love to give and because I consider you guys like my family, you know, now that Charlie and I are divorced and it's my first Christmas all alone. <laughs> I hope you're not allergic to fine wool in Angora. Jordan, I've got to go back out. <laughs> See you later. Good thing I don't wait till the last minute, huh? Be careful, that's hot. Well, actually, it's not. Enjoy. <laughs> hey, Connie. Where's Darden? I gotta ask him a big favor. He's on the phone in his office. Mm. Uh, by the way, here. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, Connie. You shouldn't have. I know, but you did, so I felt obligated. <laughs> Imagine what it is. It's not much. <laughs> well, I like the way you wrapped it. I bought it wrapped. <laughs> you really want me to feel good about this, don't you? Oh, it's Alta. You're here. Hold on a sec. Here you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I thought this was going to be a depressing Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know what to get you. I, you know, we haven't known each other that long. I just figured everybody liked hickory salami. <laughs> If you really want to get me something I want real bad, how about, would you let me throw a party here Christmas Eve for underprivileged children? I used to do it every year back in Goose Neck. You got it. Really? Sure. Well, would you be Santa? Sure. Boy, you're in a good mood. Well, I just got off the phone with my daughter. She's flying in to spend Christmas with me. I didn't know you had a daughter. You haven't heard of Talia Tao, the world's most perfect person? She graduated high school at 16, is valedictorian of her class at Northwestern, is incredibly gorgeous, but not vain. Naturally, she's dating a great guy, but right now she's juggling a career as an investment banker where she's the youngest VP in the history of the firm. And she skis. Wow. She'll only be here for three days, but I tell you something, I look forward to those three days all year long. Well, I tell you what. In the true spirit of Christmas, which is to give, how about if I volunteer to work Christmas Day? Then you could spend more time with Talia. Well, gee, that would be great. Consider it my Christmas gift to you. But you've already given me a gift, and I gave you one. Guess that means you owe me another one. <laughs> I don't know why I let you talk me into this. Because it wouldn't be a Christmas party without Rudolph. But I look stupid. Did you ever stop to think that you might look less stupid in this costume? Hey, come on, you two, no fighting. I think you look sweet. <clears throat> I'm not doing this to be laughed at. Oh, I'm out of here. But wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, Delta. Mm -hmm. Ta -da. You must be Talia. Hi, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks, it's great to be here. Who's the reindeer? Oh, that was Buck. My cousin's husband. Buck, I love that. You Southerners give your progeny such unusual names. Is that right? Talia. <laughs> Talia's from the Hebrew, meaning gentle dew from heaven. That's nice. Delta's a Greek letter. <laughs> the alluvial deposit at the mouth of a river. Well, that goes without saying. Isn't she something? 
Sweetheart, are you hungry? Yes, I'm starved. Yeah. Can you believe that even in first class, they don't have any pesticide preservative free meals? <laughs> and can you believe the last time I flew coach, they ran out of almonds? <laughs> oh, <laughs> ta-da. <laughs> I'm going to whip you up something in the kitchen. Delta will get you something to drink. Oh, okay. Hey, Darden, your cigarette machine's broke. Oh, again? Yeah. I know it's none of my business, but you should consider giving up smoking as a Christmas gift to yourself and those who have to breathe the air around you. You know, you look a whole lot better walking than talking. <laughs> so, what would you like to drink? Oh, just mineral water if you have it. Okay. So you understand you're dating a great new guy. Tell us all about him. There's not much to tell. J.D., MBA from Harvard, his family's in publishing, he has his own software company, and we met when I was assigned to manage his portfolio. Ooh, then what happened? <laughs> Actually, I owe him a call. Is there still a phone and vanity in through there? Yeah. Thanks. You have to admit, she is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but don't you think she's a little bit... What's the word? Sickening? Yeah. <laughs> that was the word. <laughs> you see a jar of olives down there? Mm -mm. I'll get you some. Why don't you get some swizzle sticks while you're at it? Okay. Anything else? Yeah, why don't you wash my car? <laughs> well, now it's Christmas. What the hell am I supposed to do? You said you would leave her by now. This is untenable, Alan. I mean it. I am not going to put up with this crap. I am giving you until New Year's and then that's it. Either you tell her you want a divorce or you and I are finished. Is that clear, Alan? Alan? Damn it, I know you're there. Pick up. <laughs> hey, if you're not there, call me when you get this message. I miss you. <laughs> Taya? Yes? Uh, is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. <laughs> All right, I confess. You found out my one bad habit. I don't really smoke. It's an affectation I picked up from watching foreign films. I don't even inhale. You know, but it's interesting that you would do your affectation when there's no one here to affect. Well, maybe I inhale a little bit. But I'm quitting. Is there something that you wanted? Oh, yeah. Sorry. So, uh, did you, did you reach your boyfriend? Oh, yes. I feel so bad. He really wanted me to be with him at Christmas, but I had to tell him that this was my special time with my dad. Hey, is this private? Mm. I got your salad. Oh, great. But do you know what I'm really hungry for? Sashimi. No, well, Nashville's the place for it. <laughs> I know, we'll find it somewhere. <clears throat> they smell cigarette smoking here? Oh, yes, Delta was smoking. <laughs> Just for the holidays. Kind of a family tradition. <laughs> oh, Delta. I know. <laughs> group. Hey, Connie. Hey, LeVon. Merry Christmas Eve. Where's Darden? I got his suit. He's been out with Talia all day. Well, he better hurry up and get back. Listen, I'm going to hang this up in the office. So, have you tried on your costume? Yeah. How does it look? It's a traditional elf outfit. I think it's kind of silly, but it seems to arouse Buck. <laughs> I'll get it. Green Lantern. Merry Christmas Eve. Tanya Tao? No, she's not here. Can I take a message? Alan! Uh, um, no, no, we haven't, uh, we don't know each other or anything. It's just that I've, I've heard Tanya talk about you. Yeah, yeah, I can take a message. Okay. A restraining order? <laughs> yeah, I can tell her. <laughs> Well, thanks for calling. Now, what was that all about? I don't know if I should be telling you this. Well, if you don't think you should tell me, that's exactly the kind of thing I want to hear. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you later. Hey, Merry 
Christmas Eve, everybody. <laughs> we have had such a good time today. God, have we? I treasured it. <laughs> you know you're late. Kids yep. are going to be here in half an hour. Why don't you get your costume? It's in the office. Yeah, I guess I better get dressed. Listen, do me a favor. You call Alan and tell him you'll marry him. <laughs> he sounds like a great guy. And whether you know it or not, I think you're in love with him. Oh, Daddy. Mm, jingle bells, wedding bells, jingle all the way. Delta? Yeah? I bought this fantastic bottle of scotch for my dad for Christmas. Can I hide it in the storeroom? Oh, sure. Thanks. So tell us about the phone call. Oh, the phone call. I think I better tell, tell you first. <clears throat> okay, I took a sip. He's not gonna miss one sip. <clears throat> Look, I know this is none of my business, and I really did not mean to get caught in the middle here, but you just got a call tonight from Alan? You spoke to Alan? I know what's going on. I, I, it was an accident. You know, I accidentally overheard your phone conversation in here yesterday, and then tonight, Alan wanted me to tell you that if you, if you keep bothering him, he's gonna put out a restraining order. Well, great. I officially have nothing left in my life. Oh, oh. come on now. Uh, that's not true. You know that. You're right. I got a great bottle of scotch. <laughs> I don't know what all is going on, but you are obviously in trouble. Ta-da! <laughs> is there anything I can do to help? Yeah. You can get me a new boyfriend. I seem to have driven mine away. And while you're at it, you can get me a new job. I seem to have lost that, too. You lost your job? Hey, times are tough. The problem with being the youngest vice president is you're also the first to go. And if you really want to help, you can get me a glass and some ice, because it's only slightly degrading sitting on this crate and drinking out of a paper sack. <laughs> you're really in trouble, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Daddy's perfect little girl has hit the skids. I think maybe you should talk to your father. <laughs> My father? If he knew the truth about me, it would kill him. Oh, I don't think so. He loves you. My father loves the girl who graduated from high school when she was 16 and who was valedictorian and who never did any drugs or smoked or drank or gave her parents any problems. He does not love me. You know, I don't think your father even knows you. You keep playing the charade and it's just, it's crazy. I mean, what can you possibly be getting from all this? You're right. I'm not getting anything out of this. This is all just one more pressure that I don't need. Uh, oh, where are you going? Back to Chicago. Hey, 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 wait, wait. What about Darden? Tell him Alan and I eloped. He'll be thrilled. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Great. Kids are going to love you. Where's Talia? I want her to see this. Talia! Went shopping. Yeah. <laughs> shopping. <laughs> she said that there was another present she wanted to buy for you. Oh, God, I already told her. I, mean, God, I told her having her here was the best present of all. She didn't have to get me anything. You're right. You know what I should do? Go to the mall, find her, stuff her for buying her. <laughs> well, you uh, entertain the kids till Buck gets here. Mm -hmm. uh, Darn, there's a box of candy canes up there by your chair. Connie. Get your little costume on and set out the salami. I'll be back as soon as I can. Boy, Christmas salami. Does that bring back memories? <laughs> Delta, how did you find me? I looked for you at every gate for every flight to Chicago. I described you to every ticket agent. I checked the waiting areas, I checked the bathrooms. I was finally so exhausted I came in here for a candy bar. <laughs> you wasted your time chasing after me because no matter what you say, I'm not coming back with you. I can't confront my father with the truth. I can't. Fine, fine. 
fine. Then just come back and go on with the charade, okay? Be the person your father expects you to be. I mean, everybody does that anyway. <laughs> what difference does it make to you what I do? You don't even know me. But I know Darden, and I care about him. And I know he cares about you. And believe it or not, so do I. And despite everything that you've said and done, I still think you're a really nice person. And you're a shoplifter. <laughs> yes. Here's a little something for you. <laughs> Tell ya, stop that. Don't for a moment believe you're really a shoplifter. And there's a camera over your shoulder. <laughs> Put the item back. Very good. Now let's move away from the shelves. <laughs> okay, all right. Listen, just promise me that you won't leave. Flight 451 to Chicago is now in final boarding at gate 17. That's my flight. If you leave now, if you leave now, you'll never know what your father got you for Christmas, and it's really neat because I saw it. <laughs> Oh, look, I don't know what the solution is to any of this. I don't even know if there is a solution. I just know that running away is not going to help you. And it's going to hurt somebody who really loves you. This is the final boarding call for flight 451 Chicago. Now boarding at gate 17. Oh, come on. Let's go back. I guess I can keep up the charade for one more day. <laughs> And a puppet. And what else? And a glass of water. I'm really thirsty from all the salami. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm sure this little elf here will be happy to get you something to drink, little elf. Bye-bye. What could be keeping Delta and Talia? It's not like Talia to be late. Well, just because she's late doesn't mean she's been lying to you for years. Nothing. Cheer up. Okay, girls, you're next to see Santa. Hey, mister, what do they pay you to dress like that? <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't pay me enough. Now, children, it isn't nice to laugh and call Rudolph names. Why not? Because Santa's helper is married to Rudolph, and it took her all afternoon to talk him into doing this. <laughs> Rudolph's got a babe. <laughs> Hey, kid, how'd you like to step outside? Let's go. All right, maybe later. We're back. Well, there you are. It's about time. Sorry we took so long. You wouldn't believe the amount of money I talked to Aya to spend it on you. Daddy, I need to talk to you. Now? What are you doing? What you said I should do. I didn't mean now. Well, I have to before I lose my resolve. Is there anything wrong? Can we please talk? Yeah, sure. Excuse me, kids. Give us a sound of a break here. I'll be right back. Where's Santa going? Santa has to talk to his daughter. Santa has children? <laughs> yeah. He has children from his first marriage. <laughs> What is it, sweetheart? Daddy, I have something really upsetting to tell you, and I don't know how you're going to take it. Then why don't you just tell me? I've been living a lie, and I can't keep it up. I'm unraveling. Oh, come on, honey. Come on. Whatever it is, it's okay. No, it's not okay. All my life, I've tried to be good because I knew that's what you wanted me to be. You always said I was such a good little girl. And when you and Mom broke up and you left, I thought if I was good enough, you'd come back. And now that you know that I'm not good. <laughs> oh, honey, come here. Come here. It's okay, honest. My God, don't you know that there's nothing you could ever do that would make me stop loving you? Hmm? You're my daughter, sweetheart. What, what if I told you that I killed someone? <laughs> You kill someone? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just asking what if. 
Come here. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. Come here. Now, tell me, what's this all about? Huh? What's happened? I told Daddy. Daddy, I'm a mess. I smoke and I drink and I got fired from my job. That's well, not the end of the world. And I lie. I steal and I go out with married men. And Alan, who you think loves me so much that if I try to see him or call him again, he's going to get a restraining order. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> You see, I have flaws. <laughs> I know that you're really disappointed, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell you. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sweetheart, why should you be sorry? I mean, if I made you feel that way, then I'm the one who should be apologizing, not you. My God. I never meant to put that kind of pressure on you. I mean, I've always been proud of you. But I, I, I never cared if you were perfect. I just cared if you were happy. Well, I'm not. Oh, baby. <laughs> My God, then let me help you, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you for letting me have the party here. I was really afraid I was going to feel alone this Christmas, and I didn't. I should really be thanking you. You gave me the greatest gift I've ever had. For the first time, I feel like I'm really going to get to know my daughter. Well, I guess I should start cleaning up. You sure you don't need any help? Oh, no. No, I'm fine. You two go on home. You have a lot of talking to do. Yeah, well... I'm going to go warm up the car. Tell Talia I'll meet her outside. Oh, I think she's freshening up. I'll go get her. Hey, Delta. Hmm? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Darden. Oh, what the heck? 